Hello, some viewers. How are you all? Welcome back to another video, guys. In this video, we are going to discuss what is if controller. It's been a long gap since we had a last video of JMeter. In between, we were doing for MongoDB series. Now we'll move back for this JMeter, and we'll continue for a while. After that, we can see what series we can continue. So, without any further ado. Let us start the video. So guys, as you can see here, we have a stat test plan. Let me create a thread group. So thread group, I'll name it as if controller thread group. So in this thread group, I can write, first of all, let me add this uh, listener view results tree and a debug sampler a good sampler debug sampler and if controller to go to logical controllers if controller we'll see a, a sim from simple condition to complex let us go let me take in the top okay so let me create a variable in the test plan right let me add a variable so i'll add I'll add name and I'll add value as true. So, and in the if controller, I'll use that variable. So, let me open the if controller. Here, I'll use uh, the dollar open bracket close bracket name. If the value is always true, it will go inside the if controller. So, in the cat, I'll add a dummy sampler. If you have seen my previous videos, dummy sampler. So I'll be using a dummy sampler just to verify that uh, we are inside the if controller. We'll see a few examples and then we can, uh, we'll understand more about if controller, right? So now let me go, let me put debug sampler above if results tree. Let me execute this. No, I don't want to save it. So now you can see it went inside the the dummy sampler inside the controller so it went inside so what if i give the name and the test plan here what if i give this one as false so it will not execute anything let me go to view results tree let me clear the results let me execute this so only the debug sampler has executed so this is simple example where I'm giving a test plan equal to true or false. We can use Groovy script for validating even more. So before that, so now let me add a HTTP request. So HTTP request and I'll put this HTTP request here. So now in the HTTP request, I'll give, um, let's say HTTPS and I'll give www google.com and i don't have a path now i want to see the view results tree so now let me execute this so http request has now got executed okay what is the latency here so latency is 354 what if i put a condition okay just execute this dummy sampler if the latency of google is greater than 300 the latency or the load time etc how can i do that you have to go to tools click on tools you can click on function helper dialog now here you have to select groovy so if i select this groovy script here you have to write the condition so i'll write previous sampler dot i'll put get latency dot to integer so previous dot get latency dot to integer i'll generate and copy the groovy script so i'll close this i'll open my controller i'll paste it here okay this one i want to check whether it is greater than 300 so i have to go again to tools function helper dialog i have to select groovy here let me scroll down to groovy and i have to paste it 
paste this one here the, to evaluate here I have to write okay it is greater than 100 so I have to generate and copy the to, to clipboard close this go to F controller paste the entire thing here so this is where we can check whether it is greater than 100 so now let me go to view results tree let me execute this one so let us see what is the latency so the latency is 194 that's why it has gone inside the dummy sampler okay what if it is less than 100 okay let, let us see if it is less than 100 it should not go inside the if controller so let me go to view results tree let me clear the data let me execute it again so now it is latency is 237 but we have given the condition less than 100 that's why i didn't go inside the if controller so that's it for the video guys if you like the video please click on like if you're a new viewer please click on subscribe till then guys take care have a great day bye bye